Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-automation.com. Today in this video, I will be showing you how you can read the Python documentation. Because till now, whatever we have discussed, right, you must have understood. But let's say you want to explore a few more things about Python, which we haven't covered in the last videos. Or let's say you have some additional requirement, which you are not able to find anywhere. You can go back to Python documentation and search about that particular module. And you can search about the syntaxes, the different built-in functions they have. Okay. So let's let me show you just type Python and just type Python documentation. So you will get their official documentation. So you can see here at python.org doc. Just click on this. And you can see we have a documentation tab. So again, depends on your requirement. You can read the documentation. So they have a different categories. So first is the docs, then they have audio and videos, then they have beginner guide, developer guide, FAQ, and so many other things. So as of now, since we are starting, I will just click on the Python docs and you will get their official page. Now again, on the left hand side, you can see we have the different documentation for the different releases, right? So as you can see now, Python 2.7 is out of support. So you can see uh, we have all the versions documentation here. Okay, so you can just navigate and you will get the documentation. But right now we are using 3.8.5 at the time of recording which is stable version and you can see 3.9 is in pre-release phase and 3.10 under development so don't worry let's focus on 3.8 which is by default it is detecting now very important part here in case if you want to start from the scratch you will find the tutorials what's new in the python 3.8 okay and the main important part as you can see here library references and you can see they have clearly mentioned keep this under your pillow so let's open this library references and you can see the different libraries which they have. So if you have followed my previous videos, we discussed so many built-in functions so far, right? So just if you open built-in functions, so these are the built-in functions which they have already provided. So let's say you want to explore something about these functions. Let's say I want to explore about this main function. So it will exactly show you that what is this, what parameters it will accept, what exactly it will return and what this function will do. Okay. So I would highly recommend you to go with this, you know, uh, standard library section which they have, because once we move ahead, we will be talking about modules as well. So you can see if you come down here, we have the different modules available. Okay. We have different services available. Plus we have all that information about the exceptions, the built-in types they have. So everything standard library related thing you will get here. So let's say I will, uh, let's say I want to show you something about the unit testing. So they have given the separate section for unit testing. Let me also show you the OS module that we want to discuss in future. So you will get all the information about all the modules. Everything will be available under standard libraries. So please go ahead and check out this uh, library references. Okay, it will give you so many additional details as well. Now there are some other information like how to set up and usage FAQ and distributed Python module and so many other stuff. So this documentation will help you a lot. So if you have gone through my previous videos, right, uh, we discussed about Mac installation. So if I open this Python setup and usage, you can see they have mentioned if you're working with different platform, let's say working with Mac, Linux, okay, Windows and different operating system, you will find all the information about downloading, installing, setting up the path, everything from this section. Yeah, so it's all about the theory part on this video. It is just, I want to highlight that how you can read the documentation and if you want to become the master in python definitely you should know how to read the documentation as well okay so let me show you one important fact here let's say i want to explore something about the str which is nothing but a string class so you can see right side we have a quick search option right the moment i type here str and hit enter so you can see right we got so many things so as we know that this is a predefined class, right? So you can see here, we got a Python class, which is a, again in the built-in type. The moment I click here, you can see it's a class. And what exactly parameters it accepts, what exactly the value it will return, everything you will find for that particular class. So this is just a quick way in case if you don't want to, you know, go through the complete documentation, you want to search for a specific thing, you can do the quick search here. And you can also see in the left hand side, we have 
again table of content so in case if you want to jump from one topic to another topic just check out this table of content and you will get to know so many other stuff let's say i want to explore more about the list part so just click on this list and again it will give you all the information about the list so don't worry it is just a, a quick video to show you the how to date the documentation but once you move ahead i will be using this documentation very often and i will be giving this links like what to explore next okay so that's a quick video and i hope this will be helpful so again guys if you want to become master in python you should know how to read the documentation okay so that's all i have for this video and thank you so much have a nice day bye bye